Hi guys, I hope you're well. And so today I'm going to show you how you can use the salt dough. I showed you how to make that in a previous video. Um, to make some really beautiful beads and then how you can string them onto a thread to make a necklace. So this is what we're going to make today. Um, so what you need to do is just get hold of your salt dough. You also need a plastic straw, um, a needle and some thread and some scissors. So um, the first thing to do is get your salt dough out. I made this yesterday and then I just wrapped it in some cling film. So that's a really good way to store it. Um, if you didn't see the previous video, take a look at it on how to make the salt dough. You only need paint, salt and flour and a bit of water, so it's quite easy to do. So to make the beads, we're going to take a little bit of the green dough and a little bit of the blue dough. Just rolling the dough around in my fingers to get two little balls and then I'm putting them together and then just rolling the palms of my hands together. And there we go, we've got a lovely marbled bead. So you could also kind of pull it apart, put it back together, roll it again, and just play around with how marbled you want it to be. So it looks a bit like an earth actually. I'm going to make some round beads. Um, so I'm rolling it into this sphere. You could also try rolling it on the surface, that might be easier for you. So once you've got your bead and it's looking lovely, pop it down and with the straw you're then just going to press down from the top to the bottom and then you want to wiggle the straw around to make the hole a bit larger. We want the hole to be about this big because um, once the bead dries, it's going to shrink, so the hole will shrink as well, and we want to be able to put the thread through it. Okay, so I've got one bead there. Um, so that one's a round one, but you could try as well making um, kind of long beads. Um, you could make some kind of like circles or triangles, so you can really get creative. Okay, so you can see that uh, here I've made a flat bead and this is my kind of long, long rectangular bead. Um, and you can also add patterns onto the surface of your bead. So with your straw, if you don't go all the way through, you can poke that around on the surface and that can look quite pretty. Now basically, you just want to keep on going with your salt dough until you've made enough beads to make a necklace. Okay, so I've got quite a few beads now. When you're making them, you can also think about the size of them. So maybe you want some larger beads which will go in the middle of your necklace and then some smaller beads which will be on the edge. You also might want to think about the colours. So maybe you have um, more of one colour bead in the middle and different colours on the edges. So all different things to think about. Once you've finished making the beads, you can either leave them to dry by themselves um, for about two or three days in a sunny spot. Um, you want them to be very hard. Or else, if you're a bit impatient like me, uh, you can bake them in the oven. Um, so you'll need some help with that. You need to put the oven on about 100 degrees Celsius and leave them in there for about three hours. But you want to be checking back on them to make sure that they don't um, go brown and burn and then the colour will be lost. So I'm going to um, take these to the oven now. Okay, so I've put those beads in the oven and I've brought back some that I made earlier. So you can see here I made these with different coloured paints because they're quite different coloured beads. Um, so I've got some flat, flat shapes here, also some kind of round hollow shapes and then some of the um, spherical beads there. So at this point um, we just want to um, seal them with some PVA glue and to do that we will just get 
of glue here and pop it on the cardboard and get our paintbrush and we're just going to do a really light layer of glue on the beads um, you don't have to do this it's optional um, but it is quite nice for um, bringing the colour out and making them a bit brighter Okay, so once you've painted the glue onto your um, beads um, and waited for it to dry, then you're ready to string them onto your thread to make the necklace. Um, or you can do this straight away as soon as they're dry if you haven't um, put the PVA on. So with the thread, we just want to make sure it's long enough to go around our head. We can take it off easily. So I'm going to cut it at this point and then you probably need a needle to help you get the thread through the hole of the bead um, so you might need a bit of help with this. Okay so I've got my thread and now I'm just putting it through the hole of the bead and I'm going to leave quite a lot of thread at the end so it doesn't come off by mistake. And as you're threading them, think about what order you're putting them on and how they're going to look nice together. Okay, so I've strung my beads on there now. You might want to do them all the way up the string or leave them like this. And then we just need to tie the two ends of the thread at the top together, like so. And then it's ready to wear. It looks quite nice if you make two or three and wear them all at the same time. Okay, so I hope you enjoy doing that at home and hopefully see you soon. See you later, bye.